No fewer than 245 southern Kaduna communities have been sacked by armed herdsmen. Hundreds of people were killed over the years in the area. Southern Kaduna People's Union says houses were burnt, women and children roasted beyond recognition, with others injured and hundreds displaced across communities in the zone. The president of Southern Kaduna People's Union, Sukapu Diome Samari, says within March 2023 alone, no fewer than 68 persons have been killed. Over 40 houses were burnt in Ayatab land alone and hundreds of persons were displaced in the affected communities. Several others sustained bullet shots around villages in the area. In one month, 68 persons have been killed in Ayatab land, leaving 15 with life-threatening injuries. 42 houses were burned down with 17 women and children roasted beyond recognition. 12 corpses mutilated by machete cuts and bullet shots were picked in and around the village. Later in the day, four persons that were rushed to the hospitals died of their wounds, making the death, uh, death toll to bringing the death toll to 33. The victims were buried in a mass grave on the eastern edge of the village. These attacks have created streams of displaced persons fleeing for safety. In the past six years, about 63 Atiab communities have been attacked, hundreds of homes burnt, and hundreds of natives killed by pillaging armed harassment. And 245 Southern Kaduna communities have been sacked by these armed harassment in collaboration with terrorists. If the size of these captured areas is added to Buningwari and adjoining areas. He added that a community sacked by armed herdsmen and terrorists are over 6,000 kilometers. He also says deadly invasion, kidnapping and unscheduled blocking of highways have not stopped with most underreported in remote locations, noting that ungoverned spaces are where most kidnapped victims are kept to pay ransom. Sokapu is calling on these continental and global bodies to send independent investigation teams to Southern Kaduna to debunk or confirm our claims of ethnic cleansing here. Before then, we advocate for a UN or AU peacekeeping operations base in Southern Kaduna. This will practically demonstrate that the world is interested in our collective survival as minority ethnic groups. It must not abandon us to be hunted by well-funded and well-armed men who are being encouraged and protected by, the, by their very powerful kinsmen and collabor collaborators in and outside Nigeria. The union highlighted the failure of the Kaduna state and federal government to apprehend and persecute killers, saying no single person has been arrested in southern Kaduna. They called on the international community to come to the rescue of the people in the region for lasting peace. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.